to it, New York full of endless possibilities. Stars the beast. You live in another world, you know, you miss your country, you, make, you miss uh -huh. the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, it's, it's a great place. Uh -huh. It's like New York, but New York, you know, it's just different. It's in Europe, north of Ukraine. One silver and I'm from Colombia. I am from Matingo Bay, Jamaica. <laughs> Hong Kong is part of China. West Africa. I am originally from Guyana, which is in South America. It's like right next to Venezuela. We are the only English speaking country in South America. He was born actually in New York City. Mm -hmm. And I'm from France. Harlem, you know, black culture, Harlem Renaissance type area. Well, I'm Puerto Rican, Italian. I'm Venezuelan, Colombian. What do you mean, black? I'm first generation here. My mom is from Montenegro, Southern Europe, and my dad was from Pakistan. So it was just two totally different cultures growing up. But I mean, I got, of course, I got both. Gambia. Gandia? No, Gambia, G. Oh, Gan Gambia. Gambia. Yeah, yeah. Where's Gambia? Where How is close that? Is that to the city? Yeah, Gambia is in West Africa. Black culture is different. I mean, if you study your history, there's nothing but African Americans there, but they're Caribbean people here. So, different type of roots, different type of feeling. It's like, you know, the melting pot. You know, Pretty diverse. You know, I mean, it's the melting pot. It's New York City. It's the melting pot, man. You already know. You already know. Brooklyn, you find like. Jews. Oh, I know just in this house. Even though you're from a culture in New York, you're not only from that culture because you've been influenced by different cultures. Well, the Egyptians are. I'm sorry, they 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 too. Well, even if you assimilate to like the New York lifestyle, you're kind of like literally a melting pot of different things. Now Israel is here, man. We're gonna stay here forever. You wake up in the morning. Let's say let's say you go to like temple, or you go to church or to mosque, and then you go eat Chinese food. Then you go watch a movie that was made in like England, but they don't really make good movies. And then you come back and like I don't know, you do shit, you drink German beer at night. If you want to go to a German bar and feel German, you can go to a German bar. Like in a story, you'll find German people. If you want to go to a Greek restaurant and like talk to Greek people. Or listen to like Greek music, you go to a story. You got the best food, the best people, different cultures, different ethnicities, you know? It's the best of all the worlds together, I think. So, I am eating. I'm black, white, and I'm Native American. Cherokee mixed with Blackfoot. My family is real southern. Oh, know? that's interesting. So, I'm Egyptian, Irish, Italian. <laughs> family in North Carolina and Virginia, but also as well I've adopted the Spanish culture because growing up in New York, there's Boricuas and Dominicanas everywhere. everywhere. 
growing up in Queens and Brooklyn and then traveling to the city and the Bronx, yeah, you just adopt certain cultures because that's what makes New York, New York. This is like a metropolis to meet like Shit. all different cultures. So with that, it's given me the opportunity to meet Bengali people, Bangladesh. Chinese people, black people, Indian people, just people from all around the world. With all the different diversity. cultures blended together. The melting pot, the diversity. Right. And that's kind of like what makes New York special and New York people special. Like my grandmother and my aunt is like these ladies' complexion. There are so many Hispanic people and African Americans and Indians. My agency is nothing but non-traditional models. My mom is shocked though. While my dad, he was their complexion from Indians to African Americans to Puerto Ricans to Dominican girls. I'm getting all of y'all. But then I'm like a fake Dominican Puerto Rican because I grew up being in Bushwick and always going to Bushwick. So right now we're going through an election issue in Dominican Republic. And at the same time living in Washington Heights, that's little Dominican Republic. So. And fighting for for democracy and our independence is a couple days away. It's February 27th and this is just a reminder that this is what we fought for in the 1800s and this is what we will continue to fight for. Difficult 
Boricua, which is categorized as Puerto Ricans, is the name that was given to us, but I am from a little island called Borinquen, so I consider myself an Afro-Latina, AKA Puerto Ricans, for those who don't know their roots. Hey. I'm considered the minority of the Latina group because of my dark skin and my curly hair. Better. I like the combo. Because I'm dark skinned doesn't mean I can't be a Latina, or because my hair is kinky doesn't mean I can't be 100% Latina. I'm Puerto Rican, my mother is fully dark skinned, like right. beautiful, like her, and my father is like her. I would say, like, as a dark skinned Latina, it's been fairly difficult, like, having to explain to people, like, who I am. People tell me that I'm not Puerto Rican because I'm not light skinned with nice eyes, and I'm like, listen, I'm not trying to hit her. Right. <laughs> Can you tell us how New York is different from Tokyo? I personally have chilled with many Asians until high school. When I reached up to high school, it was all Spanish people. It was fun. It was a big change for me. Tokyo is a little bit more cleaner, but I wish I did see a little bit more art in the whole train. Middle school Asians it was just like kind of an introvert. They don't like speaking, they don't like partying. But going to high school, it was just a big opposite. Hong Kong is a very more of a modern city compared to other China because Hong Kong was originally from Great Britain. <laughs> Hong Kong is all Chinese people. My culture is very um, traditional. It's all about respecting the elders. It's like seniority. When we eat, there's just no electronics. We just gotta eat with chopsticks and a bowl of rice. And you know, it's all about family time, enjoying each other's company and drinking tea. I'm in it, right? Majority of the Sikhs reside in uh, Punjab, north region of India. That's where the majority population of the Sikhs are, in the north side of Punjab. It's mixed, but the majority will be Hindu. It's a highly populated country with over a billion of uh, people. Classics. That one on the right? Well, uh, no, my parents, they're actually from Bangladesh. Yeah, this one, I'm born in Okay. They moved here in 91. I was born in 92. This one, Murukulao. A lot of Bengali here, and bronze, queens. A lot of people, you know, Bengali. It's a mix between the Bengali culture and the American culture. I believe that that's very close. <laughs> 
you know, I still feel like it's important to keep your roots. It's on Hill Chapulau. I grew up in a huge Pakistani community. Of MFA, Muslim Foundation of America, the organization which arranged who have disrespect. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, O oh God, save us from evil. Assalamu alaikum, meaning I wish you to be blessed with peace. Muhammad is a mercy for all. Out of Senegal? Senegal? Oh, okay. Yeah, we are right next to Senegal. New York is a great city. There's no city like New York, you know. My name is Sheikh Fogg. I'm from Senegal, Dakar, West Africa. Hello, can I feel? Say on the line. Okay. Born and bred as a Gambian, then you know you miss that culture. You know, just like being a New Yorker, you know you go to another part of the world. You know you miss that uniqueness about New York. When the uprising in Egypt happened, nothing ever made me feel more proud than being from Egypt. You know, over there, like everybody, you could go outside and say hello, how you doing to everybody, you know, but here, here it's not like that, you know. It's the behavior of, uh, of the population in Tahrir Square during those uh, 18 unforgettable days that until they ousted. It reflected what really civilization is. Unfortunately, they went back to seek to have another dictator to live there. But... Keep up the good work, you know? All right. All right, All right man, you guys take care, man. Take care, brother, What's man. What's your name? Jean. Jean. Anthony. Anthony, Lamin. 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 All, right. All right, take, All right. take care, care, brother. All right. This is the real deal. Labor Day in Brooklyn is crazy. We can watch out have a good time tonight. So today we're at the African American Day Parade. I remember I used to go to the parade. I used to go to Juve. As a minority, there's not a lot of opportunities where we're all together in one group. One year I went to Juve in heels and I stayed in heels the whole time. I don't know how, but I did it. It's very empowering for African Americans to get together and just like share our culture. Many years on Eastern Parkway Carnival, here it is back. Yeah, 
sure that I don't want to. I'm out. Get in God. I'm a lucky couple. Um, the lucky meeting can be very fulfilling sometimes. Today, I haven't felt that as much. I felt very welcome here today. It's just every West Indian culture mixed together, just having fun. Ladies in the band, the soccer team. You got Trinidad over here, you got Jamaica over here, you got Haiti over here. You want to give a shout out to Barbados? It's different types of music, it's a different atmosphere. Yeah. Best beautiful island in the sun. Rihanna is from there, you must take a visit. So it's like I got the best of both worlds. So it's like I have the Caribbean culture and I have the American black culture. America, it's time to love us. It's so important for us not to only celebrate being African American, but be prepared to fight for being African American in this country. It's time to love black girls. It's time to love Afros. It's been 500 years. It's long enough. We have to tell the black men to start being responsible. Stop killing each other. Well, I'm tired of little girls bleaching their skin to become lighter. Okay, you're beautiful the shade you are. Whatever it is, you're gorgeous. Your hair is gorgeous. You don't have to straighten it all the time. Okay, I understand different hairstyles, but... Get to know you. 90% of everybody's immigrants accept us. But what we have to understand is that it's a separation that if you paid your dues to become a citizen, then I support you. But you came here, you snuck in here on four pretenses, now you want to stay and you want to eat, you want to eat caviar and steak and eggs. Yeah, I feel that. people immigrate, like more cultures get meshed together. Italy was good, but Italy is finished too. What's it like being Italian in New York City? Too many people that came from Middle East. It's great, love it. My mother was born in Italy, all my relatives are here in Brooklyn. The government is paying 25 euro a day, but the Italian people they don't give nothing. We're at the San Gennaro Italian Feast on Mulberry Street. I come every year. I bring about 55 people with me. Our typical food, our camaraderie with our friends and family. We just have a great time. I go back every year. I got a house over there, South of Rome. Where would you tell me to go? Reggio Calabria. America is the place. Any place around in the world. I came when I was 11 months old, but from what my family told me. I'm from France. We actually traveled through St. Petersburg in Russia. I was born and raised in France, in is Paris. Anything? It's not to, to live in, just to visit and come back in the States. You know, in a little apartment in Briarwood, that's, you know, my parents were immigrants, so that was like our first spot. Five minutes from Coney Island. I don't have to take a plane and go to the Riviera in France. New York is life 24 7. In France, it's dead after 7 p.m. When I came to America, I had to make a living and I had to face reality. From Russia, it was 13, possibly 14 hour flight. I may be wrong. In France, it's not as uh, you don't see a lot of people playing soccer during the day, like outside. Soccer really is the sport of the world. It's mostly uh, on the inside, they like it better. So you can talk to anybody here in the street, you start talking to people. It's the most popular sport. I came here as a teenager. Um, lack of knowing English definitely didn't help. I have to go to Times Square, 
by night every week, at least one time a week. It's very humid here. Uh huh. I like it, it reminds me that I'm in New York. Uh, that I'm really blessed to be here. I never lived in a place where you find like almost every living language. You can hear it in the subway. You can walk down the street, and you can see a synagogue, and and then around the corner there is a mosque and a church. The first thing I did was coming uh, to Harlem. How's it like being Russian in New York? It's pretty chill, man. It's pretty chill, especially because I'm going into medicine. It's easier to get a job because now I speak two languages. Bueno, I speak Dominican. My father is de de Bani, and my mom is de La Vega. So shout out to my family there, yeah. I'm originally from Santiago, Dominican Republic. I was born there. I like New York City. It's city you from here take pictures. But I've lived in New York for over, I think, 23 years now. So I'm a true New Yorker. Mm -hmm. So any community that's, you know, heavily Russian, easier to get a job. Je m'appelle Adeline. It would be like my name is Adeline, which is uh, my real name. I speak Serbian. Zdravo, kako ste? All right. What does that mean? It means hi. How are you? I like speaking another language. Some girls find it sexy too. Zdravo, mama. Volim te puno. Tengo la gente en Nueva en New Jersey. I'm like very Spanglish, by the way, that's all I know. Anybody that's watching this, you find a pretty girl. Just say to her, the ochen crasiva. And that means you're very beautiful. You know, she'll get, you know, she'll get happy and then y'all have a lot of fun. So it's fun being Russian. New York City. Entiende, un día por uno comprarse unos tenis. It seems way more busy than London now. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm kind of lost. It's not the big It's not. It's not bad. 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 The people are friendly. Everyone's really friendly. We expect really good service in retail. Don't get it. We get unbelievable service in a bar. Do your accent impression all the time. I love it. I'm from bloody New York City. <laughs> I'm from Queens, you know what I'm saying? In Paris, it's not really like that because if you put music on out loud in the street, they're gonna say something. Your average white female in, in tiny little clothes, being confident right next to a woman in a burqa from Afghanistan or something, just going together to do their grocery shopping, which I think is really great and kind of empowering. <laughs> I am the worst of the mother of the park. I bet that Hashem, the God, gave us the Geula and gave us the Mashiach. To promote unity and harmony and to let the people discover the inner beauty of Islam. Because you're going through trouble, doesn't mean God's not thinking about you. The principles of Sikhism is to uh, work hard. So I also uh, have my times where I pray, I read my Bible. And I want to say for all of the people who say, uh, is looking at us. To take out uh, time for the needy from uh, doing selfless services.
They have their own fucking ice cream shop. At the pole? Yeah. Islam is the religion of peace. No place for hatred and discrimination in Islam. The Lord thy God has chosen you! So God said he's chosen you! And also giving 10% uh, share of your income to the needy. First and foremost, believer in God. Um, I'm out here in Union Square inviting people to church. Yeah. It's a performing arts church called The Rock Church. There is no place for terrorism. There is no place for segregation. There's a lot of racism back in fourth and fifth grade. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran. Post 9-11, it was really hard being a Muslim at that time. In behind us, is a house of the Lubavitch Rebbe, the Moshiach, and it's gonna come in soon, soon, soon. I read the tarot, and with that, I'm able to connect with an individual's uh, spiritual journey. We are here for a congregation at our sixth temple. We call it Gurdwara. The principles of our faith are to share and to pray to God and work hard. Sikhs um, have a different identity and a different um, holy scripture than the Hindus. Dance all for Jesus. Do this in remembrance of me. Take it easy. Fearing God, man. Fearing God is the beginning of wisdom, man. God, remember, trust God, man. Fuck the devil. Uh, we are a very caring, sharing community. We also keep uncut hair. Uh, as you can see, like the beard and the hair on our body will be uncut. And uh, we also wear the turban to cover our head to show respect uh, to, our, uh, to our God, the Guru Granth And Moshiach make all the world with peace, with a successful, and all of us going to Israel. Well, went to nine years of Jewish school. Okay. And my shit circumcised nice and clean. Oh, whoa, whoa. God said no, I want you. That won't be my people. Right. You know how when you draft somebody, he said, I want you, I want you. It's a very, very community, a big community, a holy community. The God give you successful and uh, <laughs> blessings. And blessing, yeah. That's right. That's in the Bible, man. Is it not obvious why a lot of these things is happening to us? God is telling you something. Wake up, black man. Wake up, Hispanic man. Stop banging on each other and stop banging on the system. Stop buying from them, man. And start creating your own money. Promote unity, and to create a bridge of understanding between the ethnicity and the religious people. In Egypt, it's very much like uh, uh, people, for the most part, are Muslims, and you know, uh, it's like the Arabic and the Muslim culture, which is a great part of me. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in the Holy Quran, the first 
a greeting when a Muslim meets another another Muslim. He says, Assalamu alaikum. We learn racism at a very young age, and we tend to not correct it at a very young age. You know, those kids, it wasn't their fault. It was mainly the adults' fault who taught them to be ignorant instead of treating other people like themselves. You can open YouTube and check every day 60,000 to 50,000 people become Muslim. Anyone is welcome here to eat a free meal any time of the day. Yogurt, okay. Yeah, okay. And we have all these people that are doing uh, the service. That's like, hey, we can record him. We are American Six and we love America. Islam means peace. There's a lot of other religions. Um, Maybe Judaism is there, Buddhism is there. Jainism is there. You know what I'm trying to really do? So I connect with those who have and those who have not, and then bring it together. Get God in my life again. Because <clears throat> every time I'm with God, I feel good. If they didn't think you qualify for the job, the position of promotion, 